Hi, I'm Jennifer Mitchell with the St. John's River Water Management District, and I've got a great activity that I want to show you how to do. We're going to teach our children where our water comes from with this hands-on aquifer demonstration that you can use materials found at your home to create. So I've got with me today two clear containers. The instructions call for plastic cups. I didn't have any clear plastic cups, so I'm using these clear mason jars. I have some rocks, very small rocks, that are from my yard, uh, from my garden. And I have some sand. So here in our Florida sandy soil, sand is easy to come by. I just was able to scoop some up from a spot in my yard where I don't have vegetation. I have a container of water, a pen to be able to draw on my glass, and I have some straws. We'll see what all these are used for in just a second. So with one container, you're going to start by layering your sand and your rock. As you're doing this, you want to make a complete layer across your jar or your container so that the water is able to move through it and you're able to see that water in it. So I'm going to add a few more rocks for my first layer and then I'm going to add a layer of sand. I'm going to add another little layer of rock. And another layer of sand. So the layers that we have created here in our model aquifer are similar to that in the aquifer system here in Florida, where you have layers of limestone, sand, some places even have clay with sand on top of that. And that is as a result of the changes in our sea level over time, over millions of years. And so let's see how that aquifer system works. So you will have made two layered aquifers using the same layering steps that you did previously. And now as you're filling your aquifer with water, pay a special attention to how quickly the water moves through the sand versus the stones. You'll notice that the water is gonna move much more rapidly through those stones that have the larger pore area, so they're spaced, spaced apart, where it's gonna move a little bit slower through the sand. So we're gonna fill this up, and as you're doing it at home, also watch to see how uh, quickly that water moves through the stones and how it moves a little bit slower through the sand. So in your model, you have now created areas where you have surface water. Surface water examples would be lakes, rivers, wetlands, and you have groundwater, so that water beneath our feet, that water that's in the ground, is called groundwater. We are going to use those straws now. And what do you think those straws are going to represent? That's right, wells. So we are going to take a straw, be a well driller, and put that water, that well, all the way down through your model aquifer. And you want to take your writing device and draw a line where your water level is, where that water starts. And so with that line that we draw, we're able to see where water is when we're starting pumping from our wells. And so you're able to put your finger over your straw and remove some water. As you do that, you will notice the water level in your container is going down. That's because we're removing groundwater. In our natural systems though, we get rainfall, and that rainfall recharges the aquifer. The aquifer is not recharged the same across all of Florida. In some areas, there is a clay layer. I just so happen that my husband works with clay, and so we had some clay laying around. Probably not everybody is gonna have clay laying around, but I just wanted to show how water doesn't move through clay. So if we have a clay layer in our aquifer, that water does not recharge the aquifer in those areas. So I have my piece of clay, and I'm going to put water right on top of that piece of clay, and that water, 
As you can see, it runs off the edges, but it doesn't go through the clay very quickly. Now that I've shown you how to make a hands-on aquifer, I hope that you will have a greater understanding of where our water comes from, be able to have a positive impact on our aquifer system through water conservation, and check out our website, sjrwmd.com education for more hands-on activities.